it's your girl Kira Wasada coming get with a new video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all of the jazz that YouTube has to offer. Okay, today we are doing something completely new and different. I am going to be reviewing the holiday edition box from Glamlight for 2020. All right, from Glamlight. This is what it looks like. I already opened my box, so we're not going to sit here and lie that I have not opened it yet. I did open it on camera though, not this one, but on my iPhone, so I'm going to be inserting those clips here. <laughs> inserted um i opened it in front of my audience for instagram um, and i had a lot of fun and the thing that really stood out the most was definitely the pie palette so i'm going to be showing you all the goodness i already did pretty much my base i haven't done any blush i haven't done anything towards my eyes other than my eyebrows and um no blush no highlight no lip gloss no lipstick no nothing not even chapstick all right so speaking of chapstick i kind of do need some because obviously the winter months have been <laughs> really there. But anyways, here's the box and you know, I put all the, the items back in here. One thing that I did notice about my box though guys is that the eggnog, like this is like the eggnog lipstick or lip gloss I made. It's like it wasn't 100% like in its actual proper packaging like this was unstuck. But to me, it doesn't really matter as long as like my lip glosses are intact. You know what I mean? So I'm going to be reviewing all of this goodness and I am going to be utilizing the um, actual um, brushes that were in this box to be applying my eye makeup. Alright, so first of all, we do have this right here. So these are eyeshadow brushes. Alright, I already showed you the eggnog um, lip gloss and you know it comes in this little cute little packaging and whatnot. Super cute. And this is basically what it looks like she is cute right she's cute then we have the pecan pie one so as you know it's supposed to be the pecan pie one i'm assuming this one's gonna be a darker shade for obvious reasons i do have to say i really do like their lip glosses i did order the mexican box as well that was great i love champarudo that one's amazing so this one so the eggnog one has like a different kind of shape as, as you can tell this one's more of a circular shape and this one is the pecan pie so it was in my mind i was thinking more of like a darker like a like a lighter or darker brown but it's still in the essence of um pinks and then we have the red velvet lip stick so this one's super cute difference between this one this is actually a lipstick and the other two are glosses so or actually maybe that's why no okay for a moment i thought that the lipsticks were different in terms of like see how the eggnog and this one are the same but this one isn't all right so this one's the look glam light this is cool i really like it um i love red obviously ruby tips but the thing about that is that like because i have blonde hair sometimes i don't like wearing red yeah i know like on my lips just because of the hair color then we have these beautiful lashes here it's called gingerbread lash so you can take a moment to look at it she is cute they're very very gigantic i did bring eyelash glue so we're definitely trying them on for today's look then we have this which i thought was the cutest thing ever cutest 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 little thing ever and it's the glam like cookies and milk and it comes like in a little milk carton um we're gonna go and visit our days back in elementary school when i would not when i was not able to open these so you had to like open them like the little carton and push it out like that. Which like was a minor girl because actual contents are inside. Um, so it looks like that. 
for a second when i did see this i did think that the product was in here like in terms of like the loose powder but i was like there's no way there's like no way because this is like actual you know papel right this isn't like an actual little like container that's like made out of plastic or something but see it comes out like this and it lasts you for a year it looks like that she's cute i honestly think that this might actually be might not look might not look good in my skin tone but we will see it it's more like a goldeny like golden like golden golden kind of like color so we'll see sometimes i don't really do well sometimes like with like highlights i have like difficulties with whatever um and then the little masterpiece the showstopper of it all is this right here and this is the pie palette and i thought it was so cute i had difficulty actually opening this like getting it out of like with one hand because of the bubble wrap and stuff um my friend actually messaged me on instagram she's like but the real question is does it smell good so that's what it looks like the reality is is that this palette because of the material that it's made out of does not smell good all right it smells like plastico. It just smells like material, you know? But um, this is what the palette in it looks like. I haven't swatched it or anything. You know, it has a little insert there. Um, but I think it's super cute. And it does have blush. So I knew that there was blush in here. So I knew I wasn't going to use any of my own blush that I already own to apply it onto my skin. And I'm just going to do like a little eye look on both of my eyes and then you tell me if you like it or you don't and then we can go from there like if we actually you know if we like it or not what i do definitely want to try is the blueberry that one really stood out to me and then i also really liked um blackberry and they're both like larry shades this one's matte and um the mixed berry super cute and i want to try it now can all of these be tried all at once um, yeah, that was me popping a bubble. Sorry. I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you can probably do something like this, like on the lid and then you can add like mud pie or something into it. You got like probably add like peach to your lid and then do, like sweet potato on like, you know, your crease or something. So I don't have an idea, but we're just going to go from there. All right. Um, so that's pretty much everything that I brought in that I showed you other than this like little, like, you know, Hey, thank you for the team and stuff like that. And they give you like a little like you know 15% off which is glam 15 so go cop it go get 15% off guys um so that's pretty much everything that is in here and you can just put it back in your box all right so we're gonna give it a try so i'm gonna open these like little and it's cute it kind of tells you like they're cruelty free so that's good for us to know right vamos a abrirlo vamos a chequear que está aquí adentro Look at that inside. Which I actually thought it was kind of interesting. I thought that they would have it like this, right? But it was like this. So I don't know if that's like that for everybody, but it is what it is. So that's kind of what we have kind of going on over here. So we're going to give it a try. I cannot find my eye primer and that's okay. We're just not going to wear eye primer right now. Don't actually do that prime your eyes but i forgot mine i'm not currently at my casa right now so we're just gonna do without it and that's fine that might give a little bit of a difference in results in terms of how long it will last but i mean we all know that so we're gonna use this mirror and we're just gonna go from here and take off a little like plastico que me da and i'm gonna try For starters, sweet potato is super pretty. Um, it's giving me more of like a more of like a pink vibe than it was giving me more of like a mauvey. If you get what I'm trying to say, if I am making sense or if I'm not making sense. So it blends out really well. I've always really liked their makeup. I think that it's absolutely gorgeous. And like, who would not want to be like, yeah, I want to try the the palette right 
Okay, so I have that already. I'm going to go ahead and try um, mud pie, like right outside here, okay? So we have so far, and we're gonna go ahead and try the flat brush. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and try nutty pecan, just cause I feel like it kind of goes with this. I'm having difficulties making a decision. Make a decision. Actually, you know what? No. We're going to do this right here. We're going to be doing blackberry. Right off the bat, I'm noticing that it's coming off like this. I don't know if you can see that. I might have to actually end up applying it with my finger. So it's super shiny super shimmery and actually sabes que vamos a usar nuestra finger okay just apply it everywhere okay so this is what we have going on on this eye okay so I like it so far but um, I think that the mud pie kind of brings it all together now, in terms of like highlight or whatever, I'm going to use my propio tipo de, de um, brush and I'm actually going to use peach. So we're going to use peach right here. Um, it's really pretty. It has like kind of like golden reflux there. Golden reflexes. You can tell. So I'm going to Yeah, so it definitely definitely digging it and she's cute she's cute so that's kind of like what we got going on over here now we're going to try something different aquí. and what i'm going to be using to change the color for this side and still use the same brushes is this right here which is the color switch dry makeup brush cleaner so that's kind of like what we're going to be using. Basically, all that you do is you take your um, eye brush that you were utilizing, como este, and you just swirl it, and then it just will help remove the color. That way, the previous color you were using doesn't stay there, right? We're going to do sweet potato again. Similar to the last eye look. And look, you could just see how beautifully it applies that there. I'm going to actually use blueberry. This blueberry. You see how gorgeous that is? <laughs> it's just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I love this. So you get more like a purpley vibe, more of a pink vibe from the blackberry. And from the blueberry, you get more of a purpley vibe. It's actually kind of because I'm using my finger and, not being, and I'm not being super precise. It's actually going outside of my lid, which, if I'm being honest with you, I'm not mad. I kind of want it to go outside. And you know, this is all about like how you like to apply makeup. Don't just be caught up in what other people tell you makeup is supposed to be like because someone can sit there and be like, oh, well, it's been applied with your finger. You're doing it wrong. Or, you know your lid or whatnot look so this one is like past the the lid area and it's out and i actually kind of like that and these are only two different eyeshadows versus this one is three um out or three plus this one which is the the highlight so four this one only has two so far and to be honest with you i really like the blackberry why did i use much berry i don't know I'm just kind of adding it outside. This one is mud pie. Underneath this one is mixed berry. And I like mixed berry. I'm gonna take this to blend it out back over here. So now, you know what I actually wanna try? Nutty pecan. Why? No sé. Are we gonna give it a go? Yes I am, lady. And we're actually gonna do it Aki, why? I don't know. I kind of like it. Ooh. 
Oh my goodness. You guys can, can you guys see that? Can you see that? I like that. Like you can see this just like shimmer everywhere versus that one. And then we're gonna use apple pie this time. Okay, apple pie is a golden, golden eyeshadow. You can see the difference, yeah, golden here, and then the other one is um, peach. And that's basically our eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go put on the lashes, and I will be back. Okay, I think we can all just agree that the makeup look just went a little bit higher due to the lashes. So I actually really like them. I think that they're very large, as you can tell. I'm not used to having tan semahante grande lashes which means just very very large lashes um but i do like them so now we're going to be trying the different glosses now what i'm actually going to end up doing is i am going to just be putting one of these lip products onto my labios and then the other two i am going to swatch for you so let's see i think for this look i'm going to do a little bit more of a neutral so for from the ones that we do have, eggnog is the one that I would consider the most neutral. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And like you can see, type of shape, and it just looks super cute. Oh my goodness, girl. And this is just a gloss. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, I'm in love. Mm, it smells good. It's not like a super overpowering scent, but it smells good. She smells good. Okay. But I also don't want to forget the blush that we do have in the palette. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Cherry Pie Blush. She looks very pigmented. Mm, she is pigmented. She is extremely pigmented. Oh my goodness. See, this is like the leftover from that because I put a lot. But you know what? I'm not mad. I kind of want more. You know, sometimes I really just want to like put like blush all over my face. Like we're going to add some here, add some there. We're going to act like if we must go get some sun. I like it. Shine's cute. We are not going to forget our highlight. Okay. Then after this, I'm going to do the swatches. All right. Ooh. Okay. So it like moves. Okay. So you can close it. Let me see. So you can move. Can you see? You can move this thing right here. So I'll close your glitter. You can kind of see her there, right? Oh my gosh, she's sparkly. She's cute. She's cute. Yeah, she's glittery. Literally, she's glittery. Um, but she definitely has that gold tint that I talked to you about. Like about like tint. I mean, it's honestly up to preference. I'm not the biggest fan of just like per se this dark of a highlight the highlight i've been using is from becca you can see how much lighter this is compared to like this sh sort of shade do you see the difference there so that's kind of like the diferencias now as for the other items here we're gonna go ahead and take um red velvet which i love making and baking um onto my <gasps> she's pigmented like this just goes so well like this with this looks so good together and then we have this is the one i'm wearing and i'm gonna swatch this too i'm gonna swatch it to the left side and you can see that definitely is a gloss compared to lipstick it's much more evenly distributed in terms of color the last one is pecan pie and whoa mira i just opened it and there was a lot of product that just kind of came out from that um she's cute too 
Now you can see the different shades there. Now, as for some swatches of the palette, we're going to do um, Blackberry, Nutty Pie, Apple Pie, and Peach. And I'm going to add Blackberry. Oops. I feel like I got enough because I used my thumb there. All right. You can kind of see that there. I didn't put as much force to these, but they're still very nice. You can see them on my lid, which obviously they are very vibrant and shimmery. And then we are going to go ahead and do the other ones onto this hand okay we have sweet potato i know i'm doing it on my hand like i'm not even doing it like on my like arm wow mixed berry is like super pretty pumpkin is cute. wow pumpkin will look gorgeous with um the eggnog one then we have Mud Pie, which is the one that I used on both eyes. Now you can see the mattes there, and you can see the shimmers. But the shimmers, we already know, are nice and pretty, okay? So that is pretty much everything that I've had to review. I do have to say my favorite product has definitely been the blush. I love blush. I really like the lashes. I really enjoyed every single eyeshadow that I did utilize on my lids as well as swatched. I know for a fact that these are very, very, very pigmented. I already took off the other ones here. The glitters are gorgeous. Obviously, as you guys are aware, I already said at the beginning that I'm not wearing an eye primer, so it might have had some sort of change, but this is without it. The glosses are beautiful. I have worn their other collections before. They're so great. I definitely do recommend this box for yourself or as a gift to somebody. Um, it was only $45 when I bought it, and honestly, to get all of these items, especially with the sort of packaging and like the cuteness of these products is absolutely just gorgeous like i love this like if somebody gave me this i would be like oh my God, gracias but thank you guys so much for watching please let me know down below if you bought it or you gave it to somebody or if you tried any of the glam light products or if you want to now right have a great wonderful day night whenever you're watching this ciao